Ni hao ma! I'm the noodle hunter! And I've got something from the lands of China! Instant chow mein with red oil spicy sauce from the company Jin Mai Lang. Weighing in at 110 grams of dry weight and a calorie content of approximately 575. You know, I haven't had Jin Mai Lang instant ramen for a very long time. The last time I think I've had it was almost one or two years ago, somewhere along those lines. And from what I remember in those past videos I made was that the ingredients inside was really fresh like. And gee whiz, I wonder how spicy these instant noodles will really be. I guess I'll find out with a taste test. Inside we have of course the noodles and one cool thing is that they left the noodles in a plastic packet. In the attempt of making those noodles less stale. That's pretty smart of them. It also includes chopsticks. My Asian soul is feeling very fulfilled. It also includes the dry ingredients and the sauce. Oh yeah, I love it when instant noodles include liquid like sauce because you know it's going to be fresh and flavorsome. And one other thing they've included that is a little bit subtle which not many people would notice is that the lid has these little holes in it. And it's nice that they have holes on both sides so you don't have to have too much trouble on choosing which side to drain the water. Anyway, let's move on to the next part. Seasoning these noodles. But firstly, let's open up the noodles in the plastic packet. And I might have made a little slight mistake here, but we're only going to garnish them first and let these ingredients rehydrate. Now to move on to the next part. Boiling these noodles. And before I put the water in, I'm going to place this little protective device to protect my table from getting burnt. Anyway, enough about that. Let's start pouring it in. Ooh, yes. I think I'm just going to pour it to the top. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Um, this is one of the great thing about like uh, noodles that you can, uh, what is it, drain is that you can put as much water as you want because the flavor won't disappear. There we go. Let's submerge it just a little bit. Ooh, the dry ingredients has sesame in it. So if you're allergic to sesame, please do not eat these noodles. Oh, well, you can eat it, just don't put the dry ingredients inside. Oh, don't eat it at all because it might be contaminated with sesame. Alright, I'm going off a tangent here. Alright, let's cover this real quick. Oh, oh, bam. And I believe it's about, how many minutes is it? Uh, it does not say. Well, if it does say something, I can't read Chinese. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll just wait. I'm going to say five minutes, just in case. So, it's been about three minutes now, and I decided to choose that time because what I saw on the seasoning packet. As you can see here, it says three minutes. So, I've decided to drain the water now. I do have one little complaint about these um, cup noodles, is that the plastic's too thin. So when I hold the bottom of it, I can feel my fingertips burn. Ow! Anyway, that's one other thing I like to do though on this channel is that every time there's a, there's little drainage holes, I like to show you guys uh, me basically draining the water very conveniently. So plus 25 for convenience. All right, let's um, do it then. And do it very carefully because I am probably have a high chance of burning myself. Okay, I'm gonna say that they do have these little grippy things to hold on to so that you don't burn yourself. What a smart idea. Or am I gonna burn myself anyway because I'm so clumsy? I guess there's only one way to find out. Alright, uh, I'm gonna choose this side. There we go. Drain it big and grippily. Huh. I'm not burning myself and it feels pretty stable to hold on to. Nice. Alright. Oh, those holes didn't really help that much because the uh, noodles are spilling water through the lid. But that's okay. There we go. You want to leave a little bit of water in there to keep the potential starchiness of the noodles to complement this, sorry, sauce it comes with. Let's put this aside real quick. Uh, yeah. Okay, and let's add the seasoning and mix it up real quick. 
And you know I have to do this. Taste the sauce. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit spicy. Oh, it's a little. <laughs> oh, gee whiz, it is a bit spicy. And I think that the more I eat it, the spicier it's gonna get. Okay, let's move on. And it wouldn't be the noodle channel if I didn't do this. So, are you guys ready? For the grand opening of instant chow mein with red oil spicy sauce from the company Jin Mai Lang. Bam! Whoa! That looks really spicy. You can see the red oil right there. That looks like it's gonna really burn my butthole. But that's okay. That's the reason why in this channel I just test these things and hope that spicy noodles like this one won't burn the insides of my stomach. Alright, since there's no soup, let's try the noodles and the flavour all at the same time. Got me trusty chopsticks, so let's dig in. Whoa, man, that really does look like it's going to really destroy the insides of my stomach lining. I've probably said that too many times because I'm a little bit worried about eating these noodles because the seasoning itself really burnt my tongue and the back of my throat. But at the same time, when you have a sniff of these noodles, Oh, they smell like really strong hot chili kettle chips. It's the best way to describe it. Along with a bunch of Asian like chili oil flavor. Alright, enough talk. Let's take a big bite. Mmm. My tongue is already instantly starting to burn. At first, when I bit into it, it wasn't so bad, but uh, <coughs> that was only the first bite and it's already starting to creep up to the back of my throat. I'm a little bit worried, so I'm going to take one more bite to give it a spicy rating. Round two. Oh yeah. Whoosh. Alrighty. This is not going to be fun, but... Mm. Aside from the spiciness of these noodles, the second bite doesn't make it more spicier. Because there are some noodles out there where you take the first bite and it's like, are these really spicy noodles? And by the end of it, you're like, where is the milk? But this ain't so bad. I'm gonna take one more bite real quick just so you try to follow up. Hmm. I mean, it tastes like a sesame oil like chili flavor in it with a bit of saltiness. It doesn't taste overly salty, which is um, a little bit surprising, but it might be because my mouth is on fire right now. I'm gonna give the rating of these, um, the spiciness level, about, uh, I'd say, a six and a half out of 10. No, probably a six, because the spicy hot noodles I had in my Thai video a few videos ago was definitely a lot more spicier, but at least this one has flavor. And that's why I kind of like these noodles because they have good flavor. However, the noodles itself, it tasted almost like restaurant quality noodles until you start chewing in it. It starts developing this somewhat waxy residue like um, texture as you chew on it. And because of that, I'm going to give the noodles itself a solid around a 6.5 out of 10 because they're good, but they're not the greatest. Not, not as good as the Jin My Link soup noodles that I've had in the past. And if you've gotten this far, hit um, hit that button. Sorry, look in the description box below for a link to that video I reviewed. All right, I think that's all I really have to say about these noodles. If you love spicy food, definitely go for it. If you don't, I do not recommend because you will need milk after this, and probably the toilet as well. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of The Noodle Hunter. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well to keep up to date to my videos. Also, uh, hit that like button to inflate my ego just a little bit more. And if you like this new camera setup, leave a comment behind so I know some, uh, some of the feedback you can give me to make these videos better. That's it. I'll see you all next time.